What's up everybody? This is Matt Brown. Hope you're having a good day. This is going to be another video about the tools that I have over on my desk here that I use every day in my job performing hardware hacking and reverse engineering. So without further ado, today we're going to talk about my power supply. So let's go over the desk. So uh, I've got it on display for you right here. This is the Siglent SPD 1305X. This is a single channel power supply. It, uh, this, the, the, I can, this is about the best view I can get you of this unit. So it has a uh, maximum voltage of 30, 30 volts. Um, here it'll do 30 volts at five amps. And so uh, I'm gonna show off this, uh, just how, how to use this. I've got it connected to uh, this cable modem that I've uh, showed in a previous video, uh, just to demo uh, the operation of this device. It's, it's pretty simple uh, the way I use it. I do not necessarily use all the features that it has here, but I will point out a couple things. So uh, the first is obvious. So up here in the top of the screen, uh, we have the set voltage to uh, what the target is for what we want the, the, the voltage to be, and then the output. So right now, it is off. So we've got our on-off button down here. So there's nothing, there's zero volt, zero amps uh, right now. And so if I hit, uh, oh, I better put it back down uh, to 12 volts, which is what this board expects. So uh, back to 12 volts. And then you'll notice here, I have the amperage uh, set, which I, switch to with these buttons. Uh, so the first time I powered on this unit and tried to use it, I assumed, uh, very incorrectly, that if you set it to zero amps, that that, means that, that, that meant that it wasn't throttled at all, that there was just, you know, that it would just go up to whatever the max that this unit allows. That is obviously incorrect, and it just didn't allow any current so and then I was wondering why it wasn't powering uh, the thing that I had it connected to so uh, if I set it to the max which is 5 amps and it beeps at me if I if I try to go over the limit uh, then when I hit on we're going to see that it there we go um, now uh, the output says that it is giving us you know 11.999 essentially 12 volts, and it is giving me 0.3 amps. And so uh, over on my device, uh, you can s maybe see the camera's pretty bad, but there are some blue LEDs. Uh, this device is definitely powered on and working just fine. Uh, so there's some other controls on there that I don't care about. I really just need a power supply like this for its basic functionality and uh, this is a pretty good unit. You can probably get the functionality that I am getting out of it for a much lower price point than what I paid for this. But this was a uh, a cry a buy a buy once cry once situation, and so I'm going to be happy with this unit for a long time to come. But just thought I'd give a demo of that power supply to you and show you one more device. That is over on my desk that I use in my hardware hacking endeavors. So thank you for tuning in to another video about the tools that I use. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me about uh, what power, supply, power supply you have on your desk. Uh, if you think I paid way too much uh, for this, it's probably true. Uh, but tell me what you think in the comments. Thank you and have a great day.